welcome to 804 River Road in beautiful Wilmington, Delaware. Hello, realtor. All right, so we got some uh, free tools. Um, the carpet, I'm sure, is you know maybe original from uh, from the '70s, um, but nonetheless, it's in great shape, as you can see, as I hope you're able to see. Windows or uh, vinyl replacement windows look like they're the easy clean. So they're not older, but I think they were probably good windows when they were bought. Um, I'm sorry, they're not newer, but they were probably very good windows when they were bought, and they're definitely not original, which is good. More carpet, as you can see. I'm going to check to see if there's hardwood floors underneath in just a moment, as soon as I see a good opportunity for that. I think they are because I can kind of hear the wood creaking. I don't know about this room though. Original carpet, definitely in here. Two big closets. This looks like it, it might be a first floor main bedroom. That's very, um, that's a very good thing, you know. We've got a, you know, a, a demographic situation where, you know, the people are living longer and, and uh, first floor main bedrooms are becoming more and more desirable. Uh, we've got a lot of, uh, the baby boomer generation was just a big generation of people. It's a, it's a lot of people. And they're nearing that age where uh, first floor masters are becoming a necessity. Um, something to uh, consider when you're talking about this is, not just where you're going to be living, but also something that you hope to get a positive return on. Flooring's um, just like a laminate kind of material. Uh, kitchen probably hasn't been touched in, you know, 70 years. I'm sure the stove is only maybe 15 or 20, yeah, 20 years old, something like that. Maybe a little bit older. <laughs> Bathroom also has carpet. Looks like they were doing some work replacing tiles on the tub. Or in the tub. Hey there. Um, you've got a basement. Hmm. Let's save that for dessert. We'll go upstairs first. Stairs. All right, so we'll call this bedroom number two. Again, final replacement windows. Let's check for hardwood floors while we're up here. The trick is to do it without damaging the house. So you might only have one corner in the whole house. Where you can check without damaging anything. And these corners are not it. Oh, here we go. Here's the freak. Here's the freebie. And yes, look, there you go. Hardwood floors. Looks like a medium kind of stain on it. Um, light to medium stain. That's good. That's good. 
so you can go darker if you want with no problem look at that nice big front yard you got a view of river road and of my beautiful car um, so you're really close to historical Belfont here oh you might also be able to see um, the roof is uh, it's an architectural shingle roof it looks like it's um, in pretty good shape it's it's probably fairly new and we will also get the disclosures on that came right on okay and we wanted to check for what the material was in here. I don't think, oh, we got it. Another freebie, yay. Okay, tile, that's fine. This carpet's new. You know, you don't want carpet in a bathroom. I mean, if you're okay with just replacing it every little bit, that's fine. But the problem is, it's gonna get water on it, it's gonna get disgusting, and you're gonna have to throw it out. So it's only a temporary fix for a carpet. Some, you know, if, if you're a really, particular person you can probably keep that carpet for years but most owners will go through that carpet very quickly all right let's explore the basement You can definitely hear like a little mouse or something like that, I think. So you've got a, um, you've got a, I think I see it. That's crazy. Okay. Um, you've got a, it's not a Goodman. What is that? You know, I, I actually have never seen this brand and I've seen a lot of uh, air handlers um, just cause I've, you know, I, I tour, you know, 10, 15 houses a day on weekends, you know, usually at least a few during the week. And I've been doing this for a few years. So um, I've never seen this brand. Or at least I don't remember ever seeing it. Um, so I couldn't really tell you about uh, the quality of that. It doesn't look terribly old. You know, these things are only supposed to live for about 18 years. So you might be coming up on that time. Um, so, you know, something to think about. And you have uh, outside access to the backyard. And also... Um, um, there looks like there's prob okay, so you've got a French drain, which is good. The walls, I mean, you can see some evidence that at some point there was water. It's been a particularly wet couple of weeks here. I don't see any sitting water. I don't see... Um, I don't smell, um, moisture or mildew. Uh, the joists look 
look um, as I'm seeing them right now they look good I don't see them anything fall I swear I hear that little guy um, you definitely probably I don't know maybe I'm wrong but I'm hearing something moving around back here so um, these joists look pretty good uh, the good thing about this, oh, there's a hot water heater and that, you know, th these things are really a joke because they only last 10 years, so they can still look new and be on their way out. Um, I'm going to say that's probably halfway through its life at least. But obviously, you know, the beauty of this house is not that it's like a turnkey flip. The beauty of this house is, you know, the square footage, uh, the location and, uh, you know, the bones of it. Um, you know, the things that you can't, can't change. Um, so yes, uh, where was I? Oh yeah. So the joists that I can see look good. Um, this house has had a home inspection that we probably can obtain access to. And I can forward that, um, over to you if we uh, get access to it. Check out the backyard. Look at this. This is beautiful. You know what? I was probably hearing this squirrel. Maybe. Maybe not. Look at this tree. Look at this. This is beautiful. You know, I mean, this is, this tree is art. And I hate to, I hate to, you know, bad mouth it, but it's too close to the house. But that just might have to stay there because I don't think anybody would want to get rid of a tree like this. You, you're better off just calling the, the uh, engineers after a few years to have them reinforce the wall because you do not want to get rid of a tree like that. Uh, AC system, it's a good size Lennox. Those are, um, you know, pretty much top of the line. Um, not even pretty much, they, you know, they're top of the line. Um, you can see, uh, oh, you know what? Yeah, so, fr so from the front of the house, you don't see this driveway. <gasps> There's two garage, okay. So yeah, you don't see this coming in. Garages on their own um, do add a good bit of value to a house, by the way. Um, in this price point. Um, so there's River Road. You've got your own, not private, but you've got, um, I guess, like a shared driveway coming back to your driveway so i guess there's some sort of agreement where maybe you and these three neighbors you know pitch in if this ever needs to be repaved which you know it does kind of look like it might be coming up i mean you know heck you could probably let it go for another 20 years if you really wanted to but more than likely you'll be doing it in the next five or ten um because you'll want to you know maintain good relations with the people with your neighbors so <laughs> you'll probably be doing it soon because it does kind of look like it's it's getting to that point um and that the, the, you usually will end up splitting that between all the parties hopefully that's how it works okay so let's go back inside so i can lock up
And so I'll show you this. And of course, I don't know if I really showed you the dining room. It has wallpaper on the ceiling. I'm sorry, not wallpaper on the ceiling. That's a decorative drop tile up there. Um, I can tell you about this house. I'm not smelling any mold or mildew. I am smelling mothballs, which, um, you know, whatever. But yeah, definitely, definitely um, no, no smells that scare me so far. Um, so I hope, I hope this tour was uh, informative and um, please reach out to me if you would like to uh, see it in person or if you had um, additional questions. And one last thing while I'm here. What is this? Yep, okay. This leads out to the... I guess you call this a balcony. It's an outdoor area, you know, it's not, it's not particularly pretty, but it is really nice to have. Those are apartments right there. Um, they're not bad apartments at all. Um, but any prospective buyer should be aware of that. Um, and again, you're in a really nice area here. This is, um, this is a very desirable area to live in, uh, for the, for the price point, especially. Okay. That's the tour, signing off.